What is up, guys? So I'm back with episode two of top 10 free city of tweaks for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now, of course, these are going to be free as it says on the title. I think these are worth mentioning to you guys. And it seemed like y'all were a big fan of my previous top 10 free city of tweaks. So I'm bringing you another one. So let's go ahead and get started. First to start everything off, it's going to be SB settings. Now, SB setting is a rather old tweak, but it's still really useful and beneficial for many. So by simply me tapping on the status bar twice, that's how I have my activator uh, switched on to. I can actually switch my Bluetooth on, change my brightness, turn on my Wi-Fi, turn it off, check out my processes. So all the multitasking apps and things, I can free up memory just like that. Respring, power off, everything. So this is pretty cool. I like this. You can set it up however you want in the activator application, which you can download also from Cydia, which is another Cydia tweak, but I'll mention that in another video. Anyways, this is also compatible with notification center. So you can actually put this on notification center and then have the same toggles on there as well. So again, guys, that's SB settings. Go ahead and check that out for free. Next up, we're gonna be talking about three city tweaks. They're gonna be all put together. I'm gonna jam it all together. Well, that's not dirty. Five column springboard, that's one. Five icon dock and also five icon switcher. Now to start off, five column springboard, of course, adds another column to your springboard and all of the other pages as well. So you got five different columns of applications as you see here. And then five icon dog, of course, how the tweak is named five icon dog, you are able to put five icons onto your dock instead of the traditional four. Now moving on to five icon switcher, you are able to have five applications or icons on your app switcher or task switcher, whatever you wanna call it. And as you see here, I actually have a, a theme called OXO. I explained that in a previous video, so go ahead and check out those other videos to know more about that theme there. But anyways, you have five icons on your app switcher. That's again, five icon switcher, and the previous ones were five column springboard and five icon dock. So go ahead and check those out. Next up is Bolt. Now Bolt is simple and Basically, it doesn't really do much. It's, it's simple and it just takes out your battery from your actual status bar right here. So you see here, I have just my percentage and you can actually turn off the percentage on and off in settings. But uh, when you do plug in your charger, you get that little bolt right there. So you know when you're charging your device, if you see that little lightning bolt. So that again, guys, is bolt. Next, we have Boltai Icon Mover. And this is useful, especially for all these icons that I have on my springboard. You can actually just go ahead and tap and make your icons go into wiggle mode and just simply tap on each of the icons that you want to move. So you have the ability to move all these icons at the same time to a whole nother page. When you're done, just go ahead and hit the home button and then they all appear on that page. So I find this really useful. Again, it's called multi icon mover. Check it out in Cydia for free. Next week is called Swipe Selection. Now, here I'm in my notepad or notes application. And with Swipe Selection, you know how normally you would have to actually tap and drag your finger to where you want to edit something? Well, with Swipe Selection, you are able to just simply swipe left and right and your cursor moves wherever you need it to go. And if you hold down the shift button and swipe left and right while you're still holding that down, it actually highlights a whole selection. So then you are able to make changes and all that good stuff. So I, I find this really useful on the iPhone and also more useful on the iPad. So again, guys, that is called Swipe Selection and it's available for free, of course on Cydia. Next, we're gonna be talking about diet bar. Now diet bar, I'm actually bringing in my 4S, my little guy right there. He's gonna be starring in this video now. So diet bar, if you simply go into your settings, I just kinda of wanna show you what it basically does. So as you see up here in settings where it has the bar right there, you do see a difference. On my iPhone 5, it is rather skinny. And on my iPhone 4S, it is fat. <laughs> so that's what diet bar does. It minimizes the bar right up there. So you have a little more room on your screen. Now this next tweak is called kill background. Kill background is something I always wish they included in iOS. I still don't know why they haven't included it. So let's go ahead and open up our task switcher here real quick. And then down here, you do see an X. So let's move in a little closer and see that little X. So with kill background, 
guess what? You are able just to simply tap on that X and close out all your applications that are running in the background. Simple as that. I really wish to include that in iOS, but I don't know what's wrong with Apple with not including some type of feature like that. So again, guys, you can check out Kill Background, but also if you go into your settings, you are able to change some little settings here. You got button on the left, so you can have the button on the left. I have that on, so that's why you saw the button on the left. And we have another little option here, always visible. I have that on, so it's the little X is always visible when I'm just looking at my app switcher or if I'm in wiggle mode. So if you have that off, when you're in wiggle mode, that's when only it would appear the little X. Anyways, we also have auto close switcher and big buttons. And we also have this little kill music. You can turn that on or off, whatever you want to do. Um, so when you kill the apps, it'll play some music. Also, we have filter apps here, which is useful. So you can turn that on for like your music application, your uh, Spotify, Pandora, things like that, that you still want to keep running, but close out all the other apps except that music app or something. That's how I find it useful. So um, that is filter apps there. So again, guys, check this out in Cydia for free. Kill background. And let me know what you think. Now, as for the last tweak in the video, it's going to be Icon Renamer. Now, with Icon Renamer, when you go into wiggle mode on your applications here, you are able to rename the application. So by simply tapping on the application after in wiggle mode, you get this uh, pop up right here. So now you can change this up. I'm going to name this Notepad and just hit apply. And you see there you have renamed your application. So you're able to do that with any application on your screen. So Go ahead and check that out again. It is called Icon Renamer. But anyways, guys, that is it for this episode of Top 10 Free City Tweaks for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite tweak was or what your favorite tweak is, free or paid. Stay tuned for a paid version. I'm working on one of those soon. So if you haven't checked out my previous paid version or free uh, City Tweaks, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the links down below in the description. But anyways, guys, as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video. It helps me out a lot and supports the channel as well. And if you're not following me yet on Facebook or Twitter, go ahead and follow me on those for future updates and all that good stuff. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with videos like this and all other sorts of tech videos as well. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, shit. Almost fell.